Sister Wives fans think Cody Brown is killing Robin. And Cody and Robin making big moves for season 19. Also proof Robin Brown is real reason Cody hates dogs. And Nasty Brown legal battle brewing for season 19. Also fans love Evie and Avalon's special moment, clip. And Robin Brown revealed just how big Cody's ego is. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S gossip channel. Sister Wives fans think that Cody Brown is killing his last remaining wife, Robin Brown. The two have been married for almost 14 years, nearly a decade legally. It seemed that this was what they wanted, to be together all alone. Now, it has all changed but what exactly is Cody doing? Though Cody Brown always maintained he never had a favorite wife, that was later proven to be untrue. He clearly favored Robin Brown, who was the last wife he married. Cody spent the majority of his time with her and her family, a factor even his daughter, Aspen noticed early on. Eventually, he seemed to have no interest in his other three wives especially once the pandemic hit. She was the one who he claimed was obedient and loyal as were her five children. This was a further excuse to distance himself as was Janelle Brown's RV since he had Robin's mansion. By the end of season 18, he had officially lost his OG three wives and was just down to Robin. She maintained she wanted to live plural marriage but that was questionable. Now, a Reddit thread has been started, and, here is what the op had to say. Anyone else think Robin aged like a lot? Funny cause the others all look younger and while she might be the youngest, her shoulders are always slouched, she tends to not hold her head up, her face is puffy, neck is wrinkled. And she's put on weight that she doesn't carry well because of her poor posture. Never really smiles. I think Cody is killing her. So, what did fellow Redditors have to say about this assessment and did they agree? She's reaping what she sowed. I think you are forgetting that the other three had a glow up from shoving Cody's A. I don't think it's solely him. A person can't live a life of deceit and manipulation without it catching up to them. The lifestyle. Apparently, followers believe that Robin Brown's way of life has caught up to her, thus making her look the way she acts. She has behaved like the victim for so long while the other kids and wives had to struggle. Now, as one said, she is reaping what she sowed. Cody Brown claimed that the other wives were not kind to Robin but it never looked like she pushed him that hard to bring them all together. In the end, was it Cody who was the death of Robin or did she create her own demise? Sister Wives stars Cody and Robin Brown are making fans curious about their plans following the heartbreaking end of season 18. Christine and Mary now have their own respective partners, making Janelle the only ex-wife who has a chance to reconcile with Cody. However, the spin-offs such as Tell All, Look Back, and Talk Back showed that the Brown family patriarch has no intentions to get back with his former second wife anytime soon. Some Reddit users also believe that Cody and Robin may come up with different plans to keep the show going. Cody and Robin caught the attention of many with their last appearance during the wedding special. The two expressed their happiness for Christine and her new husband, David Woolley. There were speculations that Robin sounded bitter by saying, I just hope they can be happy, instead of a proper wish for the newlyweds. The Sister Wives star was also criticized for showing signs of controlling behavior by forcefully stopping her husband from speaking. But some fans think Cody was sincere in his words about being happy for Christine. He was also, resolved, by the fact that his ex-wife finally found her soulmate. Fans predict Cody and Robin's storyline. For season 19, some Redditors shared their predictions for Cody and Robin's storyline amid the rumors about season 19. According to the poster, the Sister Wives stars may try for one last child. Others also believe that Robin might open another business. Meanwhile, some think the possible new season may shed light on the controversial divide of Coyote Pass. Here are some of the predictions from the Reddit users. The only way the show continues with all of them is if they are fighting. Over assets. Otherwise WTF is the point. No sister wives no show. I would love to see Coyote Pass drama, splitting assets drama. That's my number one wish for the show. I don't think Cody will have a 19th child. He will be 65-ish when Ari turns 18. He has said he's too old. Same with another wife. Cody doesn't have enough want, need, or the sex drive for another wife. 
I'm pretty sure they are already filming. There was mention of the whole family being together and how it was awkward and I can't see any of them doing that if not for the show. I think they'll renew their vows since there they graciously gave their wedding to the sister wives, and it wasn't about them. Sister Wives, a spin-off for the ex-wives. Aside from Cody and Robin, many are also hoping for a spin-off about the ex-wives. Christine and Mary are now living happily with their new men, giving them more stories to share. Some fans are also looking forward to learning more about Janelle's life following her nasty split with Cody. Sister Wives star Cody Brown is getting called out for his growing hatred of dogs over the years. Mary and Janelle had dogs before Robin arrived in the family. Some of the kids have also owned pets throughout the years. But the Brown family patriarch suddenly got mad at them. Some Redditors and TikTokers even have pieces of evidence about why he stopped liking dogs. Janelle and Mary have been keeping dogs even before Robin arrived. In the family, it wasn't a big issue for Cody at first. The former first and second wives continued having dogs even after things fell apart in the Brown family. Mary has a new dog named Zona. She also revealed that her dog loves her new boyfriend, Amos. Meanwhile, Janelle likes to share pictures with her dogs. However, she suffered a heartbreaking loss after one of her dogs, Jack, passed away in March 2023. She also added that her other dog, Bryn, has been a little lost since. Jack's passing. Some Reddit users are calling out Cody for how he has changed towards dogs since Robin came into the family. According to the poster, Cody Brown became so mad about Janelle's two little dogs during an old season. Others agreed and said that the Sister Wives star began to reject dogs because Robin hated them. Janelle had Great Danes or some shit. Meanwhile he is mad about these two tiny things. And then the Sobin kicking dogs in season 1. They say you can tell. A lot about how a person treats animals. Cody was only saying this because Robin doesn't like dogs. She doesn't like animals. She doesn't want dog hair on him. When you watch the older episodes, Janelle has always had dogs. Mary had a dog. Leon has a dog. Janelle's older boys have dogs. Gwen has a dog. Clearly the Og Brown kids grew up with pets. Cody's behavior towards the dogs is recent and brought on my Robin's complaining and manipulating. Cody said he always had dogs. While growing up on the farm and admitted Robin didn't like dogs, and animals in general so he preferred no more dogs in the family. Some Redditors from the same thread also recalled the time when Robin allegedly kicked Mary's dog. Others even suggested asking Gwendolyn or McKelty on their Patreons about the issue. However, some TikTok users got a copy of the scene, and it was clear how the dog flew from the sister wives' star's kick. Here are some of the comments from the TikTok post. The dog came up off of the ground. That is absolutely a freaking kick. The sad thing is that this is Mary's old dog, that they had to help over the rainbow bridge, later in another episode. She kicked that dog and Mary was right in front of her. If anyone kicked my dog like that I'd turn around and handle them. Robin and Cody Brown have been silent regarding the controversial scene. It also appears that the married couple is still living a life without any pets. A. New season likely won't appear on TLC until the end of 2024, but fans are already eagerly discussing what kind of storylines the network will feature. And some fans believe that the Browns are headed for a major legal battle. As fans already know, Cody Brown just lost three wives. However, there's still the Coyote Pass matter. All the adults had stakes in the property, so what will happen now that the family has crumbled apart? The internet is always buzzing with Sister Wives fans. Speculations and predictions about upcoming seasons. But recently, one fan shared ideas about a major legal battle heading the family's way. A season 19 storm is brewing, one Redditor shared online this week. I think the past season, also the end of S17, has dropped many hints that a legal battle over finances is in the works next season. Their financial situation is a red-hot mess. Who knows what they put in writing? The Reddit user goes on to share many specific instances of land disputes. Based on several points throughout the past few seasons, it's clear that the Browns aren't even sure how they want to divide the land. Both Janelle and Mary have said they don't think Cody is being fair about the property. Robin has mentioned her own complaints. Reality shows thrive on parallel plots of harmony and conflict. 
I predict we will see more of David and Christine Bliss countered by a nasty legal battle over Coyote Pass and other financial issues. Get the popcorn ready, they concluded. Although many Reddit users thought the op made an interesting point, many didn't think a legal battle would take place in season 19. Since the family's life is so public, there would have been documentation at this point. Fans knew about David Woolley long before he ever appeared on the show. I wish this was what we were going to see but season 19 picks up in fall 2022. If there were any movement, selling the lots and dividing the money. Putting Janelle and Mary's names solely on their lots, we would have seen the docs by now, another Redditor replied. Aside from divvying up CP, I'm curious whether Mary and Janelle are just going to walk away from the equity they put into K and R's McMansion. Or did they include it in the calculations of what they're owed? Someone else questioned. Sister Wives star Christine Brown has been making headlines since her wedding special with David Woolley. The majority of the Brown family came to her nuptials. Some expressed their happiness for the newlyweds and for how the Brown family got back together during the ceremony. However, there was one scene that caught the hearts of many. Some of the Brown kids shared their thoughts about Christine and David during the wedding special. One of them is Gabriel, who said that he's happy about how the Brown family is back together. The Sister Wives star also added that he has never seen Christine that happy. He was also commended for his maturity after saying that Cody and Christine tried and gave it a hard go. But things just didn't work out for them. I'm reassured that this is right for Christine when I see how happy David makes her, he added. Furthermore, Maddie and Garrison expressed their excitement during the Brown family mosh pit, in which Christine and David's daughters danced. Cody also said in his interview that he was saddened about not being able to participate in the mosh pit. Though, he clarified that he was happy for the newlyweds. Fans share their favorite Brown family moment. Some Redditors also shared their favorite Brown family moment during Christine's wedding special. According to the poster, the scene of Avalon and Evie dancing and playing together was one of the best moments of the event. Others agreed and talked about how the two just made things better amid the downfall of the Brown family. Some also recalled the beautiful moment when all of the grandchildren walked down the aisle. The shot of Avalon and Evie playing together was the sweetest thing. The innocence of children makes everything better. I loved this moment, too. Was my favorite, in addition to seeing all of their grandchildren walk down the aisle. I love that Janelle and Christine were able to sit there and watch their grandchildren play together. They just need a porch, oh, wait. Christine's man just built her a porch, and a playground for the grandbabies. Robin's probably rage smashing all her precious moments figurines. Sister wives, how are Avalon and Evie today? Maddie has been spreading awareness about her daughter Evie's condition called Fatco Syndrome. The Sister Wives star previously described it as a rare medical syndrome where bones in extremities do not fully develop. Nevertheless, Evie has been positive in life. The proud mother also added that her daughter is aware of her condition, but it doesn't stop her from doing what she wants. She knows she looks a little different, and she is completely confident in it. I hope that it always stays that way, she added. Meanwhile, McKelty likes to share stories about Avalon. The two have been best buddies over the past few weeks. They love to take funny and silly photos together. Recently, McKelty revealed that her daughter developed a habit of screaming, and it's been testing her patience. AKA she's a toddler and usually I like her but sometimes I want to lay down on the floor with a pillow over my face and scream too, she added. During a recent interview with Sister Wives, Robin Brown reveals a perfect picture of just how big Cody Brown's ego truly is. While discussing pieces of their relationship, Robin gives some details that have fans understanding more about Cody than before. Robin Brown tells her side. In the recent Sister Wives wedding special, Robin Brown discusses how she and Cody differ greatly in one area. While Cody Brown is known for his self-proclaimed sweet dance moves, Robin on the other hand is not that into it. But even more so, fans pulled more away from Robin's interview than just dancing differences. Notably, they see how her analogy seems to point to his big ego. Fans pick up on Robin Brown talking about Cody's big ego.
On Reddit, a Sister Wives fan started a discussion about Robin Brown giving away just how big Cody Brown's ego truly is. First, opening the conversation title, quote from wedding episode, then adding more information, the dance scene at Christine's wedding airs, Robin in reference to dancing with Cody, when we are dancing, I become the pole you dance around. Additionally, the user makes a bold connection between Robin and Cody saying, doesn't that just perfectly sum up his ego, her expectation, and their relationship? While the initial Reddit user brings up some good points about Cody and Robin Brown, other sister. Wives fans give their thoughts. I mean, there's a lot of ways of reading that, phew boy. Yeah, she intended to say that she wasn't as good of a dancer so she just freezes while he's going to town. But, we all heard that she awkwardly freezes as he goes crazy and considered that a metaphor for how he is buck wild doing his own thing all the time. Long ago when I took dance lessons, I was told that, the man is the frame, and the woman is the picture, meaning it was the guy's job to make the woman look good, regardless of her skill level. Cody wants to be the picture, to which someone else adds, and the frame, and the wall, and the nail, and the hammer. I read it as she isn't into all the arm flinging Cody and the OGs were into, so she stands there letting Cody do his wild arm flinging dance around her. We have never seen Robin engage in it, and the other wives teased her about it. Additionally, on a separate Reddit feed, other fans joked about Cody and Robin Brown's dancing tactics. Within the discussion, one Sister Wives fans provide a picture of Cody and Robin Brown dancing. First introducing the subject is, who needs dance lessons when you have full pole control? Then the comments flow in. The way he dances, he'd knock himself out. Additionally referencing Robin's quote about being the pole that Cody dances around, they say, Robin looks pretty good there. What do you think about this video please? Told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.